Well, hello everyone, this is Brett Darian, and this video is going to be all about hard drives. So, yay. So basically, there are two different kinds of hard drives that are commonly used today. There are the regular hard disk drives, which have been around forever. They have a physical disk inside that spins, and that's where all of your data, you know, your software, your games, your videos and stuff are all stored on. And then you have your newer type of hard drives, they're called SSDs. They have no physical hardware, so they're more reliable, they last longer, and they're also a lot faster. Uh, but they're also a lot more expensive, you pay a lot more per gigabyte. Um, but uh, they're still a lot faster, and they're more reliable, so uh, they're a worthy investment. So I've been looking for one uh, uh, for a while. But I've been waiting for them to come down in price. I've been holding off for a while. But just recently, I was looking online, and I found a good deal finally uh, for a 500 gigabyte model. So that's this one right here. This is the Samsung 840 Evo. Uh, there's a lot of them out there. A lot of different types of SSDs. Uh, I know Sony makes some. Uh, pretty much every hard drive manufacturer now makes an SSD drive. Um, but there's a lot of them out there, but this is supposed to be one of the best ones. The Samsung uh, 840 Evo. There's also the 840 Pro, um, but uh, this one's actually newer. It's actually a newer model. So, so I just wanted to unbox this, open it up, and then we'll compare how much faster this is compared to regular hard disk drive. Alright, so let's just open this up and get right to it. Instead of hearing me yammer on. Alright, let's just tear open. Let's see, I know there was a piece of tape up here. Alright. Okay, here we go. Here is the actual drive right here. It's very light, very small. Here we go. Set that aside somewhere safe. Actually, just put it in there. We have installation guide. Pretty standard if you've installed hard drives before. Let's see, also comes with a couple of stickers. Samsung SSD activated. Got a warranty statement. And we also got the one step install navigation manual and software. Alright. And it should also come. Yeah, you can also clone your uh, your original hard drive and put it right on your new one. And I think I'm gonna try doing that. Just to see how that works. Alrighty. So there's the unboxing right there. Um, again, now this is just for comparison's sake. Uh, this is a regular hard disk drive, which many of us are probably still using. And here is uh, the eight, uh, the SSD. So, so obviously the SSD is a lot smaller. It's a lot lighter. This one's very heavy. And this one's very light. And there you go. See, this one is a Seagate, a one terabyte manufactured in June 2012. This one's been working fine, having any problems with it, but I just wanted to finally upgrade and finally get the speed of an SSD. Alright, so I will pause it here and we'll put it in and we'll see how it performs. So, uh, what I'll do now is I will just show you how long it takes to boot up uh, my current computer and its current setup with my hard disk. So I'll 
and I'll time it even with the stopwatch on my phone. So, just press the button, start the timer, and we'll see how long it takes. Here comes the screen. We're at 23, 24 seconds so far. Alright, we're still going. We're at a full minute now. We're still going. Alright, so we're at the desktop, and it's not even fully loaded yet still, it's still booting up, but about a minute and 16 seconds, maybe almost a minute and a half. So, it may not be that exact time every boot, um, but it's roughly this time, between a minute and a minute and a half each time. So now, I'm going to put in the new drive. Okay, we're now ready to install the drive. I have it mounted in this 3.5 inch drive mount which came with my case. It's got it mounted in with four screws on the bottom which I just so happen to have lying around. Uh, if you have an older case or a smaller case uh, you might still have to mount your drives like this like your optical drives. Uh, slide them in then screw them in on the sides like this. Uh, but a lot of newer cases now are doing it this way. You just mount your drives like this on the outside then you just simply slide them in. So that's what I'm going to do with this one. We just slide in on the top. There we go. And then we just gonna, we just hook in our power. There we go. I'm going to take this one out now. And we put in our SATA cable. And then there we go. It's hooked up. All right, so now we're in the process of cloning uh, the drives. The source drive is my hard disk, and of course the target drive is the SSD. It's going pretty fast, about 90, 95 megabytes a second. And that is megabytes, by the way, not megabits. It started off slow. It started off only being like six or seven megabytes, but then it really sped up, it kept increasing, and, and now it's going pretty fast, so, so that's good. Uh, you do not need uh, this USB dongle uh, uh, to clone your drive, you do it desktop. Uh, this I think is for laptops or something, so if you want to clone your hard drive uh, from your laptop you might need this, but if you're using your desktop uh, then you can just uh, you just have to have both of your hard drives installed uh, the, uh, the new SSD and your hard disk uh, with uh, Windows, uh, with your current copy of Windows on it and then you just boot up Windows and you just install this uh, Samsung data migration software and you'll just be able to clone it that way. So very easy. So, so I'm just waiting for this to get done and then and hopefully it'll work and I'll be able to boot up uh, this same copy of Windows using the SSD. And then we'll compare how much faster it is. So stay tuned for that. Okay guys, moment of truth. I uh, got everything done, uh, the cloning is done, and I got my hard drive disconnected, right here. The, uh, the power is still on it, but the, uh, uh, the SATA cord is not. It's just the uh, SSD is connected. So uh, let's see how fast she starts up now. Start the timer. Here we go. We're at 
20 seconds. Thirty seconds. All right, here we are. We're at the desktop. Everything's booting up pretty quickly. Moving a lot faster. So that was forty seconds. Um, so I saved maybe like 30 seconds or so from the hard disk. That's not quite much of an improvement as I was expecting, uh, but it's still it's still a lot faster, and programs I'm sure will still load faster. Um, um, you know, this thing pops right up, and you know, videos will load faster, and, and everything. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Um, now this is a clone, so hopefully everything was cloned correctly and nothing was corrupted or lost in the cloning process. Uh, so far nothing seems to be lost, everything seems to work correctly like it did on the hard disk, so I don't foresee any problems, but uh, I'll keep you guys updated if I do run into any problems. But yeah, so there we go, we have a success. Uh, the SSD is installed, uh, the cloning was successful. And it does boot faster, as expected. So there you go, guys. That's my Samsung SSD installation. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in my next video. You guys take care, and thank you for watching.